Hi, how's it going? This is Alan Hackler from Bay Maples, and we are here on a rooftop in San Francisco, and we are gonna show you this experimental fog harvesting system that we installed. And the concept is how do we get moisture out of the steady fog that's found in San Francisco to be able to capture rainwater during the dry months when there's not getting the typical rain showers. And the way the system works is we've installed this mesh netting and the concept is as fog passes through the netting, the moisture droplets inside the fog will build up on the small sections of netting. As the moisture builds up, more and more the droplets gets heavier, it falls down into this gutter. Through our rain tracker, which is this little black box, there's a small little toggle switch that just goes up and down. So every time a drop of water hits that, it lets our sensor know that there's water active. It's a way for us to track that water on a computer to see what's happening with the system, even though we're not here. And this is solar powered, so basically it doesn't need to be plugged in. So this whole unit can be off grid. You can position this anywhere you'd like. So it's a really great unit just to get some experimental data to find the feasibility of a larger system. So let's open a barrel and see how much water we've collected. So, so far just a couple of inches as you can see, but the system has only been up for a short period of time and we want to let the system be in place for a full calendar year to see what times of the year get more water. Right now it's mid-November, which isn't really the foggiest time of year. Usually late spring into mid-late summer is typically when you get the most fog here in San Francisco. So we want to give it a full year and see what the full potential is. But as you can see, there is some water, so it is working to an extent. Now they got to just get the fog needed to really capture the ideal amount of water. So this experimental system is just to help us gauge how big of a net we need in the future, how much storage is possible, and just finding some creative solutions to how you catch rainwater in the dry months in the spring and summer when it's not getting precipitation but there's still moisture in the air from the fog and being able to catch that water and be able to utilize it for irrigation and indoor non-potable uses.